Hello fellow rollers, I'm Carl Stein, and it is time to talk about Carly. Sorry, I'm, I meant Carl. Why do I keep calling him Carly? Or maybe that's his real name. That's right guys, we've got the Carly Carl pro tier list here. Best modes to play Carl in. There aren't very many of them. Now we'll be going through each of the modes, starting with his worst game mode to play in, and ending with his best game mode to play in, so that despite his weaknesses, you guys can know where to push him. Starting off, we have Bounty. His worst game mode to play in. F tier for Carl in Bounty. Um, there are two things that make a brawler great in Bounty. The first is survivability, which Carl has that. He's got a ton of HP. He's able to attack from a distance, so he's got that. But the second thing, arguably the more important thing, is the ability to finish off an enemy, to burst them down and take them out quickly. And the thing with Carl is he can't do that. Now I played Carl a ton in this map, Layered Cake, and this would be arguably his best uh, map to actually play him for Bounty because he's got lots of walls kind of close up. Wow, my shirt. Look at that, that pattern. Ooh, I'm never wearing dots on, <laughs> on camera again. But yeah, this map should have been a great map to try and push him in if there's any map that is going to be decent for Carl. But uh, unfortunately, he just struggles so much. It's so easy for you to keep your distance from him, especially as a Piper or a Brock, the king and queen of Bounty. They're just going to be so far away from Carl that it's going to be way too easy for them to actually dodge his shots. Now, if he does start to pin super, he's a really good bra He's a really good counter against Piper. Um, she can jump away, but uh, it's kind of going to kind of depend. If if Carl's right next to Piper and she uses her super, Carl can still use his super to get to wherever she's landing and still have super remaining by the time that she lands. So he can, if he gets close to a, a, pi a Piper, then he's going to shred through her. But uh, typically, he'll have to use his super to get close to Piper, or there will be other enemy brawlers that are kind of like close up to her, kind of protecting her. He just struggles in Bounty, and I would not recommend playing him there unless you just, I don't know, like, maybe if you want to waste the time of the people that you're playing with randoms in the queue with just for all that is good out there please just don't do that now his uh, second worst game mode once again putting him in the f tier for heist he's just not super great at heist okay there was a lot of debate on whether or not he could actually be decent enough for b tier there are a couple arguments for playing him on twist and shoot or split second because you can go right up next to the safe and then just like blast through it. And there is something to be said about the fact that he can actually attack multiple targets. For example, like Rico, he can shoot the safe from a distance, like Carl can, but Rico can only damage one target at a time. Carl can actually damage the safe in any number of rollers that are right there. But the thing is, Rico has such more DPS at that range without any walls that it just makes it really difficult for him to actually do very well. There are simply just better options out there for Heist. Like, much better options for Heist. <laughs> Third worst game mode, we've got Siege. Where we actually did decide to put him in the B tier here, okay? Uh, there are a few different things that make Carl a decent option in Siege. Not the best, but playable. He can deal damage to multiple brawlers like I talked about, and that uh, does allow him to uh, defend against the enemy boss, or also go on the offense against the enemy Ike while dealing damage to enemy players. It, it is kind of situational on the map, and players have to be kind of in the perfect position for that to work out, but it can actually work out sometimes. He also has massive area denial with his attack, allowing him to help keep enemy brawlers actually push back. He's a really solid counter against Jesse and Penny, who are really prevalent in Siege, and his super allows him to quickly go and pick up bolts in, in a pinch where it's like coming down to the wire. He can just run in there, grab the bolt, and then run away, or run in there and grab the bolt and then deal damage to enemy players, and uh, you get the idea. But he just does not have the DPS to deal with the bot or the Ike turret, and heavily relies on the enemy team to actually really be solid. So that's why we decided to place him in the, uh, the B tier, because there are better options than him, but with the right team comp and on the right map, you can actually play him. Up next, we actually have a two-way tie for third best game mode to play him in. So that's third and fourth place, I guess. Starting off with Gem Grab. Now, I talked about this in a recent video, but Carl is actually not a support brawler like I thought he was going to be. He is a gem carrier. Like, if you're going to play Carl in Gem Grab, Gem Carrier is the role for you. I really thought he was going to be support or aggro. Like, I really, really did. But he just does not have the consistent DPS to really do uh, to do that. And as an aggro brawler, he doesn't have the, really, like, the burst potential to keep people pushed back. Like, he has really massive area denial, which does allow him to be a gem carrier, because even if you're far away from the gem mine, you can attack there, and players have to wait. They're like, okay, wait, that thing is massive. Like, you can't just, like, dodge 
bit, like a penny shot, where it's just like, oh, quick dodge and then get right back in there. You had to like, whoa, fall back. That's a giant axe right there. Okay, now I'm good to come in there and grab the gem. So that area denial is actually pretty decent. Um, he has HP, a lot of HP, and that allows him to actually carry the gems. He has really good survivability, and that's really important as a gem carrier. And his super is excellent for defending yourself, um, killing an enemy gem carrier, running away, grabbing extra gems. You can run in and grab them and like run out. Like he's his super is really really great for that type of situation and offers some area control as well. And there are way better options than him out there, even for gem carrier. Like obviously like Pam, just go with Pam, guys. But he's he's an okay option. You can play him in there, uh, especially if you're gonna actually synergize him with like a Terra or a Gene. Seriously, like Gene just like grabs the enemy gem carrier as soon as they have like nine or like it doesn't matter. You can be losing the whole game, and if Gene grabs the gem carrier and Carl uses his super on them they're gonna be gone like no matter what and you guys can absolutely have a win just through that one strategy alone so yeah you can play him in uh, gem grab also tied for third place we have showdown solo showdown actually Carl actually has a lot of good things going for him in solo showdown he has high HP and his ability to attack from a distance gives him a ton of survivability against a lot of brawlers like there are a few brawlers that can actually just like quickly take out a Carl without any problems at all. Even a bull who can take care of him up close like has to get close to him and deal with at least some damage, you know what I mean? Also, in Showdown, it's really common for boxes to spawn right next to walls or like really somewhat close to walls. So that makes it really easy for Carl to just like blast through those boxes and get those power points. And that means that he's going to be oftentimes really powered up a ton very early on. And that gives him a solid advantage against a lot of enemy players. Also, his super is... <laughs> So good at killing brawlers. Uh, he can almost kill any brawler in the game with it in the right situation. The only brawlers that you should really never use his super on against is Bull and Shelly that, like, just don't do that. Even against a Daryl or an El Primo, you could just circle around them, and because their attacks are split into, like, left and right, left and right and stuff, um, he, it actually totally gets rid of a ton of their ability to deal damage up close when he has a super just circle around them like seriously it's it's such a good way you can kill el primo so easily by doing that his super can also be used to escape trick tricky situations or to chase enemy players um the hardest part for carl in playing showdown is charging up his super i've mentioned a lot of reasons why he's good in, in solo showdown and yeah they're they're all true but carl is not very much of a uh of a winner in Solo Showdown. He's not a finisher. He is really good at surviving for a long time, but his but it's so easy for you to actually dodge his shots that he rarely actually finishes first. You can finish first. In fact, I've been playing Carl a lot in Solo Showdown, and really, it's like, seriously, like, without fails, like, most of the time, it's like, oh, sweet, I caught second, this is gonna be great, and I'm like, oh, great, I can't do anything against that brawler because they can just dodge my shots way too easily and I don't have my super charged up because I used it to uh, take out the third place play person. Also, I would avoid playing him on maps that have lots of bulls and shellies on there, so... He's decent. You can absolutely push him in solo showdown. It's great, but he's not the best option, especially if you're trying to go for that solid victory each time. Okay, guys. It's time for the second best game mode. Finally, we're out of the B tier, guys. Duo showdown. Hey! Um, he's good in duo, similar for, for the same reasons that he's good in solo showdown, okay? But, <laughs> and the reason why is because he's gonna have a teammate that is going to overcome his weakness, which is low damage that you can easily dodge, right? His high survivability is actually really good in duo showdown because if your teammate dies, oftentimes even you're gonna be in that tricky situation and you can get out of it because of, the, of your HP or because of your super, you can super out of there. Um, he works very well paired up with like Terra, Jean, or Spike for double super insta-kill OP-ness. And also the fact that Carl can pick up those boxes super quickly is obviously going to benefit your teammate. Another reason why he's decent in duo showdown is because he can actually deal damage to more than one brawler at a time. And in solo show or in duo showdown, brawlers tend to clump up together. And that means that there are going to be situations where you're gonna be able to deal damage to more than one brawler at a time. And that's, that's pretty good. It's not gonna happen very often because it's so easy to dodge his, his attack, but uh, you guys get the idea. Ultimately, there are better options, but there are also worse options in Duo Showdown. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I guess you probably uh, actually want to know his best game mode. Okay, I probably better do that. Brawl Ball! Best game mode. Also A tier. 
That's right, he doesn't get any S tier game modes because he's just not that great. Now there are three major reasons why he is starting in the A tier for Brawl Ball. He doesn't lose ammo when he kicks the ball, that is something that every other brawler does and that actually plays a big role in the kinds of brawlers that you're going to want to pick up the ball and a lot of times it's beneficial for you to not pick up the ball and just let it sit there while you're like duking it out against the enemy players rather than picking up the ball and kicking it to a more ideal location just because you're going to need that ammo and carl can do that he can pick up the ball risk-free no matter when no matter where and he can actually like pick up the ball and go like kick it really fast to an enemy player and what that does is they will kick it back to him because they're auto-aiming or whatever. You know, they're trying to shoot. they got to get rid of the ball because you're right next to him or whatever. And he can just kick it back and forth and that wastes their ammo. And then he is then able to just wail on them without them being able to deal any damage to him. And that's a huge benefit for Carl that no other brawler actually has. The second reason why he's good in Brawl Ball is because his super can help him travel very quickly. He can actually throw the ball up and then super up, deal damage, keep that people push back or whatever, um, and then pick up the ball and like go and score and stuff. Uh, no one can actually pick up the ball in that type of situation without taking damage from Carl unless they actually take him out first, but that would be sad. The third reason why he is good in Brawl Ball is because his high HP allows him to oftentimes just walk the ball in when he's facing off against brawlers that don't have high burst potential. All of these three reasons make Carl a great option as a ball carrier. I'm not saying that he's the best. Like, I'm talking about it like he, he is the best brawler in Brawl Ball ever to exist. He certainly has his flaws and you guys know them. It's just, uh, these are why we could justify putting him in the A tier, because it's, you might think that he uh, is just useless everywhere else. <laughs> I also want to give a huge thank you to these wonderful people that really helped put this tier list together in discussing Carl so soon after he was released. These are the starting positions in the tier list for Carl, and once we actually have another balance change, because I don't I don't think the meta has actually shifted very much, uh, once we have that balance change, then we'll actually revisit the whole tier list like we always do and give you guys the best tier list in Brawl Stars. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a ton of fun to make. I, I think that Carl is fun. Like, I know that he's not super strong right now, but he's also not like the worst brawler in the game. At least I try to tell myself that. <laughs> For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.